I, I think there's a genuine market for it. Oh, no, I'm not saying there isn't. <laughs> I'm not saying there isn't. <laughs> and it's high. Um, this situation, yeah. I think, in one way, even though she didn't communicate to him, it communicates that he's not doing a good enough job when it comes to the bedroom. Mm. So in that sense, he should take that as motivation to work on it. Yeah, right. But I still think there needs to be a discussion because at the moment, neither of them are talking to each other. Yeah. And they're both frustrated. She's sexually frustrated and he's frustrated because he's morally, he's demoralized. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. There needs to be a communication here as to, you know, what they want sexually from each other. Yeah. Because it's, I mean, if if your partner's basically buying an extension lead for your schlong. Yeah. There's a big problem there. What's worse, her asking him to wear that or him asking her to wear a bag over her head? Oh, bag over the head. Bag over the head. Are they not very similar though? No, no, not similar. Bag over the head is where you look. Wait, wait. Let's see. I want to hear what Tom's uh, what way well, thinks. I just mean like it is. It is. You're just saying one part of you is not pleasuring me. Like your face isn't pleasuring yeah, me. Yeah, but I'm not happy. I, I can't look at your face, or I can't I, feel. Okay, your... but here here is the flip side of that. I yep. think I would say genitals inherently aren't the most attractive things to look at. Good all point. Right? Good They're point. beautiful in their own way. Yeah. But if you're essentially saying to them, like Mark was talking about how he's getting lost in his own eyes before. Yeah. If you're putting a bag over your partner's yeah, head yeah. and being like, I, basically the thing that represents you, the, the billboard that you walk around with. <laughs> and that you can't hide. Exactly. Yeah, I get you. The yeah. thing that you live with yeah. that is socially acceptable not to cover up when you're in public. It's the yeah. one thing that everyone yeah, like, expects exactly. to see. And yeah, you're like, what, that's the one thing I don't want to look at in <laughs> while we're getting into it. In fact, if you put a balaclava over your head, yeah. most people will be like, what the fuck's going on yeah, here? Right, yeah. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Hey, like, I, I purely did it to sc- start the discussion. I'm not saying that no, they're no, similar. No. That's, I mean, I, I, Sometimes I, we do that here. In a way, a bag on the head is essentially like a gimp mask. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I think I what think about a gimp mask? I, think, I, think, I think the equivalent would be if you if the 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 male gave like a bra thing that ex- makes the boobs bigger. Makes you mean yeah okay like, like a padded, well, bra. It's a, padded I bra, say, bra. But like you're, you're basically saying anything that uh, is a modifier to her body. Yes, mm. like what she did to him. Exactly. I, th- I think if you, were, some if you women I would think, wear that uh, for the for the, by their choice because they yeah. that makes them feel good. Yeah, exactly. I think the fact that she's wearing it. To, you know, he wants she wants him to wear it to make her feel better. Yeah, is kind of wrong. But yeah. at the same time, it's her gift. I think at the end of the day, her birthday. open the discussion. Yes, yes. And, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't go into the discussion with uh, fire and brimstone, like not angry. Yeah, just like all right, I see your point of view. Yeah, but let's talk about yeah. it before you just you know you didn't need to buy it straight out of the, the gate. Yes, all right. my penis is hurt now. <laughs> All right. But that's it. We All get right. it, Marcus. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Let's leave it there yeah. for the scat man. Who sure. wants to go next? The scat jazz man. Damien right. wants to tribute. go next. Okay, right, Marcus, Dave. do you have one for Damien? How now, would you describe him in a genre of I can, music? I, see, a genre of music is, is a hard one, but I want I, I want to... The genre of music I'm thinking, what are you thinking? I'm thinking, like, what would you describe, like, Flood of the Concords? Like... Comedy mu- music. Comedy music. Because I feel like he's a, he's a walking punchline, this guy. He's, <laughs> he's a punchline. He's, he's a punchline. Yeah, that's what would it. you call like that sort of music? I mean, it, it's... I guess like comedy music? Let's comedy say music. comedy music. Comedy music. All right. <laughs> No, he's a lyrical genius too. Like he's, 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 oh, thank you. he's very uh, good with his words. So I'll, I would even go with like a, like a. How about a lyrical chicken? A lyrical chicken. A lyrical blacksmith. This yeah. is not not music. Oh, no, I, was, I, was, I was gonna say like rap music. Yeah, yeah, rap okay. or R and B. Like not R and B. Yeah, not R and B. R and B is. I think more like how about like the rap man? Rap man. Let's All go right. with rap then. R- rap because we'll he, he, he talks well. Rap yes. man writes in. How do I stop this? All right. I've been dating my girlfriend for about a month. She is on our university gymnastics team and is an incredible athlete. I saw her routine this afternoon and was freaking shocked to see how much of it had sexual elements. She did her routine to Rihanna's Ponder replay. And as an example, (laughs) she crawled on all fours. She shook her ass. She did this thing where she went up and down her body with her finger, including her breasts, and then acted like her finger was sizzling. And during all this, her teammates cheered. I was blown away that this sort of sexuality was not only allowed... But encouraged. Mm. After the meet, I told her I didn't think she should do that sort of stuff. She told me that it was normal for gymnastics. I told her it was normal for strippers who dance for dollar bills. Oh. She told me you are literally an asshole and way overstepping your bounds. So instead of of her going on a romantic date I planned, she decided to hang out with her teammates. Rap me. That man. Sorry, David, can you repeat yourself? I just lost myself in the mirror. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, wow, this guy is really... Um... It's it's an interesting thing because I feel like um, when you think about gymnastics, yeah. I think of the Olympics. And yeah. I feel, like, yeah. I, I feel you like, feel like ribbons and... Yeah, no, no. I feel like there is like acrobatic skills involved in gymnastics that makes yeah. it sort of... 
not not reputable, but I mean, like, makes it sort of di- separates from dancing, yeah, yes, or from yeah. sort of dancing. I'm not saying that like that sort of dancing that she was doing in her gymnastics thing yep. hasn't got a place in art. Yes, mm-hmm. I'm just saying for gymnastics, maybe it's not really the place. What, what, if, what if it wasn't gymna- What if it's cheerleading? I think, like, like you know, like bring it on and all that, like they do. With the, reading the, the, the into season. it, it uh, this one is probably more like contemporary gymnastics. Okay. okay, so it's not. I mean, Olympics is. I feel like it's kind of vanilla in the sense that it's quite. <laughs> You know, it, it is yeah. the sport it's, at it's, its... interpretive gymnastics. Okay, yeah. I get you. This, Olympic is kind of like, it's the sport at its essential core. There's yeah. no real flair to it, in a sense. Whereas yeah. this was Napolitan. Ponderat- this is Napolitan. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, we added two more flavours. Yeah. That's right. Exactly. Yeah. You got the chocolate and the uh, strawberry. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so I think this is probably why it's okay. more... And I probably, maybe it's at pep rallies and stuff, I don't know. Yeah. It's an American yeah, yeah, yeah. worship. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So he's angry at her for being, like, provocative. Her yeah. routine is too I, sexy. I want I want to sit there and go, like... She might have been doing that partly for him as well, like feeling sexy about her. Like I'm, I doubt she's doing it. I doubt she's doing it for him. I'm on her side on this. No, I agree. I'm I'm on her side. side, I think her motives isn't probably like another motive. I don't think she's trying to turn her boyfriend (laughs) in front of the whole school. She's self confident. She's she's self confident. She's happy with herself to do that. Like a lot of people that aren't self confident or like don't don't go into that. So she's very happy with herself. And then you're you're coming in and saying. You're a whore. You're a stripper. And all They've that also only been dating for a month. Exactly. Oh, right, I'm sure right. her relationship with gymnastics has, has been a lot longer than with this guy. She's like, yeah. yeah, dude, I've been doing this for a lot longer. Yeah, yeah. exactly. I, I would be in his scenario. It's either A, she's not for you because yeah. she's that way inclined. You're getting jealous of her dancing by herself. I, yeah. Yeah. I don't think I would have a problem with, like, if I had a girlfriend that had a hobby, like, was doing gymnastics or dancing. Yeah, or I don't like think that. so. And it's no issue for me. Huh. I don't think that... I don't know what would cross the line. I think even some people do sort of um, pole dancing as far as fitness goes. As a fitness thing, because it's yeah. very I, had, I could not climb a pole like no. that at all. And if I in had, fact, that would just collapse. If I had a girlfriend that was doing that, I wouldn't say that's a problem. Yeah, yeah I, I wouldn't agree. Be, I wouldn't think it's a problem at all. I didn't okay. think... I didn't until, think until someone's throwing dollar bills at her, yeah, yeah. that's when I'd probably be like... Okay, <laughs> maybe it's time to. Unless those dog bills have gone to my new TV, <laughs> how do we get here? Why is the gym this? teacher throwing a stack of hundreds at you right now? <laughs> okay. Yeah. I've organised something in regards to this question, okay? They're stri- they're stripping so, dance off? No, I'm going to pull oh. it out. So I would say there are certain sports that are probably a bit sexier than others, right? Okay. All right. So I'd probably say uh, stuff like beach volleyball, you yeah. know, where you've got people who are quite fit. Yeah. They're in the sun, they're on the sand looking quite good. Yeah. yeah. But I wanted to work mm. out what is the. Sexiest. Unsexiest sport. Wow. Oh. Look at this. Oh, uh, he's, so, he's, he's done like a like a table. So what do you call I, that? I've made a bracket here, a bracket. sport bracket. Okay, yeah. So there are 16 sports here. Yeah. And we'll, um, they're going to go up head to head against each other until we eventually get to the finals. The unsexiest sport. And we will sport. crown what we think is the unsexiest sport. I love Ooh, it. Yes. Okay, so what I've done here, I've, I've avoided some double ups like baseball and cricket. I feel like there's kind of an overlap with some. Yeah. Okay. So I've kind of just chosen one to represent. That, that type yeah, of thing, yeah, right? Stick ball games. <laughs> yes. So I'm going to basically essentially go through and us as a team are going to work out what the unsexiest sport is. Yes. It's going to be decided here do and now, everyone. I do have a pen. All right, cool. I'm ready to go. Don't worry about me. All right. All righty. So I'm going to give you the- At the end of this, we're going to take a phone and put them up on our Instagram. Yes. We don't have an Instagram. <laughs> oh, my God. At the end of this show, we're going to put Marcus up on the cross. <laughs> yeah, that's true. He died for his We don't have a cross, but we'll get one. We'll, <laughs> we'll make an one. exception. Like I'll get a cross before we get an Instagram. <laughs> All right, like first I said, round. 16 teams first round, all right? Yeah, all right. Uh, t- two unsexy sports going head to head. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Weightlifting and fishing. Ooh. What do you think is the unsexiest sport here? I think weightlifting is unsexy simply and only because of the faces that they pull. I'm with you on that. I would counter that the fa- the faces and noises made during weightlifting are more akin to sex yeah. than any noises you make <laughs> while fishing. And I think people could find that attractive. True. I don't think. Uh, how do you it feel about Rex Hunt? Rex Hunt. <laughs> <laughs> For Rex Hunt fisherman. Rex, I, mean, I he mean, does, mean, he does kiss those fish before yeah, he puts them back in the water. the smell as well, Marcus. Exactly. All, the, all that, like, if you have to kiss the fish at the end of it, then you, you have to. Then, 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 you can, then you can see fish. Oh, yeah. We can't be <laughs> disqualified. We didn't kiss the trout. <laughs> I'm going to say fishing is less sexy because yeah. they're more clothed. I they're think more, you're right. They are more clothed. I think it's, it's usually the body is just like you can be fat and yeah, be a fisherman. Yeah. yeah, you don't have to be in shape. Yeah, I think the sexiness ends for fishing where you say like I've got a large rod. Yeah, yeah, like that's it. That's, and and then, like, the problem with fishing as well is it's all about size. Like yeah, right. who got the bigger fish and yeah, stuff. That's true. So too self conscious. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, not sexy. Yeah. Let's go fishing is unsexier. Yeah, fishing right. is unsexier? Right. Fishing, right. fishing wins that round. So weightlifting... Oh, no, no, no. See, but, you know, yeah, all right. All right, all right. I'll, I'll I was going to say, I have seen weightlifting footage where an Olympic athlete, they were like f- trying to 
pump his wife so hard that they end up pissing on the ground a little bit. Yeah, yeah I mean, that's that, 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 that a bit of golden water, showers. That's a bit, a bit of, of water sports. Yeah, All right. was, yeah. So, <laughs> I'll keep the water. <laughs> You've broken it. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, yeah, speed walking or Greco-Roman wrestling. Oh, nah, Greco-Roman wrestling is sexy. Yeah, it's, that's it's two bodies like gra- mashing gra- together. A speed yeah. walking, they sort of have that speed walking. They got that weird sort of, like they both feet need to be on the ground at the same no time. No one's putting a speed walker on their wall. That's like they're they're not putting a speed walker in a Wheaties box. You yeah, are. even exactly. if they won the gold medal, they're probably not going to get many and endorsements. Greco- are and they? Greco-Roman wrestlers are buff. But yeah. I also think Greco-Roman wrestling, the shapes that they're pulling, yeah. and they're kind of like. It's not a sexy form that they're taking, right? No. Yeah, they're generally no. like pulling at each other's face and that type yeah, of thing. Yeah. More grappling. Do they, wear, right. do they wear the ear cups over their ears? Yeah, they can. Because you know when your ears pulled yeah, off. Yeah, I, know, you're I, like, I think you're right, though. I think we go with speed walking speed is walking. unsexier. Yeah, unsexier, yeah. yeah. Speed right. walking, you win this round. All righty. Next up, lawn bowls or darts? Ooh. What is unsexier? Uh, okay, so we've got, let's let's think of the demographic of lawn bowls. Yes. Lawn bowls are older, you, older people. The geriat- you're setting geriatrics. Your, you're setting your Tinder radius to 16 and above. <laughs> yeah, yeah, 16 right, above. Right. Bowls. Whereas darting, you've got people that are smoking, drinking. I think of with bar. Goodies yeah, right. And long beards. I would bikers. say darts, uh, as, a, as a straight man, is not sexy to me because it's generally Men. a room full of inebriated dudes just yeah. screaming their heads off. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's not it's very like, sexy It's, a lot, it's a lot of fun, but it's not sexy. I don't think yeah. darts are sexy. I think lawn bowls is, is pleasant. Lawn bowls can be sexy. Why? Because a six-year-old and above can still be sexy. Whereas you're okay. never going to find a dart player sexy? Yeah. I'm, I I feel like dart players... Look, I'm probably going to get a lot of people like... Yeah. Like, maybe you guys later no, on finding yeah. out a sexy dart person. Yeah. But... I'm, I'm thinking that would have like a yeah. I think darts gets into that bracket. Darts, I'll, okay. I'll yeah. go with darts. Yeah, I, I'm not gonna. I don't want to. I don't want to throw shade at our lawn bowling. Nah, because nah. it's probably we'll, something we're gonna enjoy in our golden years. That's I, true. I enjoy darts now, but that's true. I did. I did enjoy da- playing darts with you. Um, yeah, darts is fun yeah, before. That's right. Cricket or billiards? <sighs> oh man, now, there's some sexy cricketers out how there. Do you, but, cricketers. How do you feel about the baggy green? Uh, I think that's the hat. The hat, yeah. So I baggy green gives, gives me a, a floppy pink. <laughs> <laughs> floppy pink. <laughs> Nothing oh. is a bonus killer like the baggy green. Yeah. I just think cricket is very... Look, I, I know You're there's a lot of good the fans sport. in there. I, I, I don't want to shit on the sport, but for me, it's kind of just... I don't know. Nah. Cricket, this is a hard one. They're both kind of... They're boring in the sense that yeah. they're both very uniform. Uh-huh. Yeah. Like, they're kind of no-frills sports. Yeah, yeah. The action's very quick and it's over very quickly. Like, there's mm-hmm. not a lot of... Uh, yeah. What's on sexier? I, don't know, billiards, I think billiards could be sexy. Like I'm thinking, if you're playing, like you know, you can help, like, yes. help, you get, help a lady out yes. playing some balls. Uh, you're, you're, yeah. you're smashing balls yeah. into holes. So maybe, maybe when you're watching billiards play, you're thinking of that time you're at the bar with that girl. You're stroking, and they're generally, you're stroking the pole, yeah, and they're right. generally well dressed as well. Yes, yes. I'll say yeah. Let's go billiards. Billiards is I mean, sexy. No, let's go. Let's cricket, cricket yeah. is the winner as far as is that one bracket over. Or Alrighty, what? yes. Uh, all right. Bull riding and V8 supercars. Ooh. <laughs> Bull riding is like, you know. I mean, V8, riding... super, it's V8 supercars, you don't really see much of the person. It's just a car. So unless yeah. you're. Cars aren't sexy. Unless you're order, like, unless you, you like. You find cars extremely sexy. Like, I've, some, I've heard I've heard guys describe cars as sexy before. Well, that's not me. So that's that's, <laughs> that's unsexy. That's not my Australia. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not, not me. Not <laughs> what about bulls? Bull, bull riding, I think, can be sexy. Just like, well, think about mechanical bulls again. I mean, all the jiggling. True. Yeah. If you own it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay, right. I feel like that's something. Um, that's, that's actually sexy. Let's go V8 supercars. Yeah. V8 is the way. Sorry. Not rev- that's not revving my engine. All right. So uh, we've got three more matchups. Yep. yep. Fencing and golf. <laughs> Fencing is unsexy because it's completely all completely covered. covered. Co- Even your face. Going back to Tom's gift mask thing yeah, before. Yeah, right, exactly. Right. Fencing, you couldn't be more covered up. Yeah, yeah ask the, the, the uh, girlfriend to wear a fencing golf, mask. Golf, golf's sexy enough. I, I think that's fine. I think fencing's the bad one. All yeah, right. fencing. Quidditch or curling? Oh, <laughs> I mean, Hermione didn't play Quidditch, so that's a <laughs> negative. To me, there is something sexy about... Three people working. This is curling. Uh-huh. Yeah, okay. working in unison, <laughs> in unison to scrub the shit out of a floor. Yeah. Now that I have my own house, and I have to clean every weekend. <laughs> Fuck! Look at them. Yeah. That, imagine imagine they're very floors. excited. Imagine if, I clean their house. If I can hire some curlers to clean my house, <laughs> they haven't done in five minutes. All right. da- Damien's uh, Damien's getting really turned on by the yeah, annualness of the whole like like oh, scrub 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 yeah. scrub. scrub. About, okay, we're talking about Quidditch that people play in the, like a real sport. Quidditch. Yes, Quidditch. not no Harry Potter. Well, talking, it is Harry Potter Quidditch, but played in real life. We're talking about a bunch of losers oh, that are running around. Come on, there might be some listeners that no, are that. they're losers running around wow, in the park Tom. Tom's pretending really... to fly going <laughs> wee hoo wee ha right. chasing someone who is the golden snitch hey Tom how is this any different to three guys in a room with microphones pretending people are listening <laughs> to the show not 
<laughs> not comparable. Not comparable. People listen to this show. Yeah, well, if you're yeah. listening, please write All a right. suit.